Nutrition is so important for health, but primarily because a healthy athlete can come and compete and train every single day of the week. We want to make sure that our athletes are healthy the whole way through the year, through what is a nine month grueling premiership season. So for them to be able to turn up every single day, be healthy well and have plenty of energy ready to train is crucial for our success. Just like in rugby, there's plenty of different sizes of athletes that we get to work with. So there's so many different demands in the game as well with different positions that it's a beautiful sport to work with because we have all these different challenges. So we've got guys who carry lots and lots of weight and muscle mass who we need to support all the way through the year, but also guys who are very dependent upon speed and power to make sure we maximize that as well with their body composition and how they're put together. If we don't fuel properly for training and for match day, then our performance on the field is not going to be at its best. So our build up into each game, how we recover from each match and each session is crucial depending on what we get into us from our nutrition and food point of view. The quality of the ingredients is so important because we want everything that the athletes have in terms of meals, food and any supplementation to be really purposeful. So the ingredients which are involved in it have to have a purpose for their recovery or for their fueling. So making sure that everything that is on that plate has a purpose and is of the highest quality possible means that they'll have confidence in what we're asking them to do. My top three tips for nutrition are, number one, have protein at every single meal and snack. This will help you in terms of your recovery, your muscle recovery, and if your goal is to gain muscle. But it will also help satisfy any hunger, which will mean that you'll be more likely to stick to any nutrition plan you have in place. Number two, stay hydrated. So the biggest thing that people neglect is just purely drinking enough fluid. It has a big effect on how we can concentrate, how our brain functions. So when you're at work, when you're at play, make sure you're drinking enough water and enough fluids to maintain that. Number three, don't avoid carbohydrates. Everybody seems to think they're the devil these days, but actually they're crucial for our performance and for fueling plenty of long or high intensity training sessions or activities. So get your portion right and understand what they're doing for you, but don't avoid them. So nutrition is really important for health and well-being, particularly for dogs, because fundamentally it's a key biological drive for animals to eat. So nutrition in itself is a fundamental biological reward. But the other thing about nutrition, certainly from a, a scientific point of view and from a performance animal point of view, is that nutrition can help us actually help animals reach their genetic potential. So nutrition is something that's absolutely fundamental in terms of being a controllable variable. It's something that we can manage and it's something that we can alter and it's something that we can change for the benefit of the animal, for the benefit of the performance and hopefully also for the benefit of the partnership, so the human-animal interaction as well. One of the biggest problems with nutrition, particularly canine nutrition, is that one size definitely does not fit all. Historically, when commercial pet foods were first manufactured, there was one single pet food for puppies, adult dogs, senior dogs. What we now appreciate is actually dogs are all individual and even dogs that are the same breed are individual in terms of their overall genetic makeup, their behaviour, their home situation, the expectations that owners have on them. So we have to very much tailor nutrition to the individual animal as well as to the individual human animal situation. So that's thinking about everything. I, I very much call it the black box of nutrition, which is looking at owner factors and also animal factors. And what we have to do, certainly at Skinner's, is try and combine the two. So that's looking at having a range of foods for all ages, different workloads, um, but also looking at some of the human factors, so that's actually things that the humans want to choose for their dogs. And what we're seeing is a real humanisation of the pet food world. And we're getting more and more people making choices for their animals based on their own choices. So one size definitely doesn't fit all. I have five spaniels, all very, very similar breeding, all have subtle differences in their own diets.